death, how does one feel about it? It's inevitable, it's everywhere. But yet, even then, it's still not an escape. How can anyone be comfortable with anything when even reality itself can easily be altered? The slightest perception change can lead someone to a false sense of security. Welcome to the coldest catacomb chapter. The nuclear, the mecha, Exoxidium was fascinated by the concept of death, the mysterious unknown yet certainty of it. With a scythe in hand, a black cloak over his body, he went to impersonate death. He would hang around those dying, random funerals and never say a word, nor express any emotion. His fellow township people deemed him as the emo who would never face up, which became more than they ever realized. When he died in a horrible car accident, death was fascinated by him. So much so that, he was given a second chance at life. Only now, he had special abilities, able to cause hallucinations to the living and call upon the dead to fight battles for him. The macabre's ability is called, all senses. Pressing the active ability button causes any nearby survivor to have their perception on reality altered. Once they are affected by false senses or windows, talents, and generators will provide fake information. For example, a previous open window will now appear to be blocked. The generator will give fake progress and the broken pallet will appear to be standing. In order to snap out of false senses and regain reality, the survivor must either miss a skill check, finish repairing a generator with the help of an unaffected survivor, or get away. The macabre comes with three new perks. The first one is Cobb, Into the Void. Your ability to see death from a different perspective allows you to torture others. Once a survivor falls from a high location, they will scream and reveal their location. When they land, they will suffer from blindness and exhaustion for a limited time. His second perk is called Endless Torture. Just because the victims are done with their time doesn't mean you are. Once you exit the card, the location will not be revealed to the survivors. Once the hatch is opened, it will not make an audio indication for 10 seconds or for the first few meters. Whichever happens first. His third and final perk is called Death's Punishment. The death of an ally leaves everyone in else grieving, and this will be used against them. Once a survivor is sacrificed or killed, all other survivors become exposed for a few seconds. If a survivor is downed within this time, all other survivors gain a haste status effect and bonus repair, healing, and cleansing speed. If a survivor is not down during the duration of the perk, survivors suffer from exhausted and oblivious status effects. Time to stare death right in the eye. How will you face off against the inevitable force? The coldest catacomb chapter for dead by dead. Available soon.